Bill and Ben the twins could not be trusted in the yard alone, so they were left with a friendly diesel named Boko. The twins often liked to play tricks on Boko, but he didn't mind. One day, Boko approached the twins. Hey you two, I need to take a really important goods train, so you two come along now. But Boko, we don't want to. No ifs, ands, or buts, now come on. The three went to pick up the train. Boko was in the front, and Bill and Ben in the back. Ugh, these twins better not cause me no trouble. Come on, you two. Don't dawdle, don't dawdle. And the three set off. Fuss pot, fuss pot, fuss pot, called the twins. Fuddy daddy, fuddy daddy, fuddy daddy. They stopped at a fork in the track due to train traffic ahead. This is boring. Why have we stopped? I don't know. What's next? Gordon was racing down the track. Help! called the twins. Get out of my way! Quickly thinking, the twins ran away, but Gordon still caught up to them. Boko was furious. What are you two doing? called Gordon. The three raced down the track as Bill and Ben were buffer to buffer with Gordon. They raced through a yard where a quick thinking signalman diverted them into a siding with no buffers. One by one, the poor three engines slid off the rails. All the engines surrounding them witnessed what had happened and were very confused. The three engines were very embarrassed, especially Gordon, the big and proud engine. Ruh! he growled. You two have ruined my life. What were you thinking? But the twins weren't thinking. They were too embarrassed, and were wondering what Boko would say. James and Percy were a part of the rescue operation. And soon, the twins were back on the rail. Gordon was already back on the rails because he was much easier to get back on the rails. His coaches were shunted back to him and he set off. The twins were still speechless. But none of that matters now because Bill and Ben are now great friends with Gordon. <laughs>